Uh, when you're out there fishing, chunking and winding, throwing and winding, chunking and winding, something happens during the middle of the cast that you need to make some adjustments. What in the world would that be? Is that a pretty difficult question? I know some of you are thinking, well, you get a bite. You set the hook. Yeah, you need to make that adjustment for sure. There's something else, so, and it's really, really important. It'll help you catch more fish. Good morning, guys and girls. December 20. December 20. December 20. Only a handful of days away from Christmas Day. Christmas Day. You know, we open our presents uh, at the Jimmy Houston Christmas celebration, the Jimmy Houston family Christmas celebration, I should say, on Christmas Eve. So all of our kids and grandkids, great-grandkids now, looking forward to Christmas Eve. It's a huge, gigantic evening. We'll probably uh, do a little video and show y'all and get y'all in, involved in that a little bit around Christmas time. We're going to be over at my daughter, Sherry, and her husband, Jack's house. We'll have a lot of kids and grandkids there, and we'll just have a, a fantastic time. I'm getting so excited about it already. I love Christmas. I love family. I love what Christmas stands for and is all about. And uh, we'll probably be showing that over on the uh, Jimmy and Chris Houston Twin Eagle Ranch uh, channel. Uh, might even show something on the Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing Channel. If you're not subscribed to Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing, be sure to subscribe to that as well as the Catch a Better Life channel. December 20 is from Acts 2.24, the book of Acts. God raised up Jesus, having loosed the pains of death. The pains of death. Because it was not possible that he should be held by it. Jesus conquered death. Jesus had the victory over death. Death could not hold Jesus in that grave. Many wintertime tournaments are won on crankbaits. That's right, crankbaits. Don't think you need to be always cranking them slow. That's one of the mistakes that most people make in the wintertime. They think about slow, cold, lethargic fish, and they want to crank their crankbaits really, really slow. One of the best techniques, without a doubt, in cold water is speed cranking. That's right, speed cranking. Speed cranking a crankbait. If grass is available, you want to use a bait that gets close to but won't get in down into the grass. One that'll just kind of go across it every now and then, maybe just tick the top of the grass, but they'll stay above the grass. In lakes without grass, you want to use the deep diving crankbaits, the ones that go down really, really deep, but still crank them fast. I mean, crank them fast. And don't forget to stop every few feet. Stop and go, stop and go. Speed crank and beat that cold winter water. Speed crank, yeah, it works in the winter time. In today's verse, the good doctor, Luke, Luke was a doctor, the good doctor, Luke, explained the victory that Jesus attained over death by walking out of that grave. Jesus won the victory over death by walking out of that grave. It's that same victory. This is the great part right here. It's that same victory you and I claim over death by believing in and making Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. We claim that same victory over death. This victory is for you. This victory is for me. And it's one basic tenet of Christianity. And it's proof positive for what we believe and why we have life abundantly here on this earth. And we have a life eternal with Jesus when we leave this earth. We are all fools if we don't hold that belief that Jesus Christ can raise us from the dead. Just like God raised Jesus from the dead. This is the basic tenet of Christianity. And Jesus tells us that I'll give you life and I'll give you abundant life right here on earth. And I'll give you eternal life forever in heaven. If you're not a believer, if you're not a saved, born-again Christian, ask Jesus to come into your life and save you. Repent of your sins. Mean it. Don't play games with Jesus. Mean it. Repent of your sins and ask Jesus to come into your heart and save you. And he will. And you will have that same victory over the pains of death that they're talking about here in Acts 2.24. Oh, I love that one. Oh, it just gives me chill bumps to think of it. Here's our uh, tip for today. Pay special attention and slow down. Pay special attention and slow down anytime 
anytime that your bait bumps into something underwater. If you're crankbaiting, if you're spinnerbaiting, if you're worm fishing, when you feel your bait hit something underwater, pay really close attention, concentrate, 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 and slow down just a little bit. That's a lot of times where you're going to get a bite. In the winter times, usually a bigger bite than a smaller bite. That's the bites we're looking for. Guys and girls, go out there and have your great one today. And remember, I sure do.